And Josh, can you just sum up what I guess the last twenty four hours less has been has been like for you? <laughs> it almost feels like a dream. It doesn't feel like a reality yet. Um, I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time in my life. Um, I've been struggling with my sexuality for over six years now, and I've been having sleepless nights. I've had dreams where I've come out, but I never thought it could actually be a reality and be possible. So to see this day today, um, I'm very overwhelmed and so happy with the response I've received. What response specifically from your teammates, from those at the club? Yeah, I, I think that like it started off with my coaches when I first told my coaches about four or five weeks ago. Um, I wasn't getting, I wasn't expecting the reaction I got from them. You know, they wrapped their arms around me and they made me realize that it's okay to be yourself. You know, we're not going to treat you any differently. We're going to treat you like the same Josh we knew before, and um, that really gave me the confidence to expand out to the teammates and to everyone else, and to show that I'm not afraid to show who I am. Yes, I play football, and yes, I'm gay. What's wrong with that? From that chat with the coaches, you say a few weeks ago, what was it then like going onto the training pitch after that? Was did you change in any way on the pitch? <laughs> it was immaculate. Like honestly, I think I had the, I had the best training session after that. It honestly felt like thirty kilos off my shoulders. Like it felt so good. Just even telling two people in the world and knowing that they were okay with it in the football industry. It was phenomenal. So um, I can't wait to get back on the pitch. And now that everyone knows, the world knows, my teammates know, they're cool with it. Everyone's fine with it. So I can't wait to show everyone what I've got installed for them. You, you've been, um, I think you retweeted a couple of tweets from people like Griezmann and, and, and PK as well. This is something that has, has gone right around the world of football, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I was, I was very uh, shocked and taken back by that. Also, Liverpool and Barcelona and Juventus shared it as well on their platforms. I am so honoured and um, I'm so grateful, you know, um, that clubs are getting around me, players are getting around me. And uh, I just apologise to all the people that missed me. I'm trying my best to get around to them, but um, I will. And I'm incredibly grateful for your support. So thank you, everyone. And we, we, I mentioned, I asked you earlier about about your teammates. Is that something that you know, just going into ahead of the you're, you mentioned there, you're looking forward to the next game. What, what have they been like specifically? What have you? What have they been like one on one with you and the chatter and the change room? Yeah, definitely. When I told them all this morning, like I was really nervous. I'm not going to lie; it's probably the nervous I've ever been in my whole entire life. But as soon as I told them, they were comfortable with me. They all gave me a big hug and they said, "Look." We're going to teach you exactly the same. You're no different to us. So um, they made me feel very welcomed and just made me think, why have I been hiding for such a long time in my life? I guess with that in mind, what, what's your message to maybe other young footballers in, in a similar position? Yeah, definitely. My, I want to get a message across the world and just show that it doesn't matter who you are, what you believe in, or what culture or background you come from. Everyone's accepted in football. It should be based on your talent on not what you like or what you believe in. And I think at the end of the day, we're in 2021 here and um, it's time to change this in football. And I suppose a, lot, a lot's been made because you, you're playing in a top division in, in world football in the top flight. I guess what, what needs to change for, for more people in the top divisions of, of football across the world to, to sort of be comfortable in that sense? Yeah, definitely. Look, I struggled a lot not having to look up to someone and to know that uh, there's no one else that has done this before. So it was a bit hard for me to come out and it took, it did take me a long time. It took me about six years. So I do understand the pain. I know what it feels like to be in the shadows and live a double life and lie to the people that you care about. It's horrible. So I know there's definitely someone behind the screen around the world that has experienced the same thing as I am. So if I can make it a little less easier for them and to show them that what a great response I'm getting. Um, that should make them more comfortable to be themselves. And I, I hope in the next few years that no one has to do what I did today. Uh, yeah. Um, what about the last few years then you mentioned? Is, uh, any examples of what, what that was like, trying to sort of build this career yeah, in professional football? It, it, it was very hard. Um, it was a very isolating process. Uh, I found myself 
excluding myself from the team, not in a bad way, but just to protect myself. You know, I'd avoid situations like going out for coffees with my teammates or spending time outside football with my teammates because I didn't want to get questioned, didn't want to get asked questions and tell lies and get caught up in the lies. So it's a very isolating and lonely process. And um, yeah, it's, it's something that I don't want anyone to experience. I, well, let's leave it on this then, this, the positive of the next match and what, what are you expecting um, when, you, when you run out onto that pitch? <laughs> I'm expecting to score a hat-trick and take a man of the match and win the game for my team. That's what I'm expecting now. There's nothing changed here. Look, I'm still the same person. I'm still the same player. If anything, this is going to enhance my career for the better. I can play, play freely now, so I'm, I'm just proud I can do that.